Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys. Out there, in the viewer verse, I've got a bit of a new trailer for you when it comes to Blue Protocol. I've also got quite a lot of in-game footage that I found over on some random channel called Gem Atsu. Yes, which is pretty darn cool. Anyway, I'll be putting links to all these videos inside the video description, and also I'll put them as cards as they're playing as well in the top right corners and things. So anyway, let's jump on over and let's have a look at some of this uh, new footage that I've come across. I'm going to start off with Blue Protocol. Oh, welcome to Regnus. Is that the one I wanted? Yes, it's it's what is what is Blue Protocol. So let's um, hit this one up and um, I'll show you it in all of its glory. Here we go. So reaction cam. Reaction mini. There you go. I put me over at the side over there. Lovely jobby. Actually, let's, let's make this a bit bigger. Let's make that like that. Yes, and let's hit play. Let's make this nice and full screen. Let's just make sure that I've got the freaking... It's definitely on 4K. Yes, it's on 4K. Awesome. I made that mistake last time, didn't I? Here we go and hit play. The Blue Protocol takes you on a heroic journey to unlock your lost memories, discover your true identity, team up with old friends and new allies, and defeat powerful enemies to save the future from its deadly past. That's awesome. 2,000 years in the future. A massive beast has awakened within the planet's core. Bit Pokemon. And threatens to destroy the world. You awake with no memory of your past, quickly finding yourself at the center of a millennia-old conflict. As the grand story unfolds, you'll discover your true purpose and what it means to be a hero. Some of the creature and enemy design is awesome. Explore, craft, and battle your way across Regnus. Swap between five unique classes to do battle with fluid, action-heavy combat. Relying on your teammates' skills and abilities to complement your playstyle. I'm gonna be an archer. And tailor your character to fight back against enemies that adapt their tactics to counter your strengths. Yeah, I'll be an archer. Be your own hero and stand out on the battlefield. Equip armor, clothes, accessories, and mounts to fight back the forces of evil and customize them to look good doing it. In Blue Protocol, the options are nearly limitless. You can look how you want and play how you want. And you're I'm not really alone liking on the look of this. Tackle quests solo, or party up with friends and other adventurers to battle your way through epic dungeons. But to take on Blue Protocol's most difficult challenges, you'll have to group up with other teams to defeat skyscraping monsters and earn incredible loot. Blue Protocol is set in a beautiful fantasy world with a sweeping story that'll lead you across Regnus to discover its secrets. Exciting and engaging combat with hundreds of unique ability combinations. Deep and diverse character customization and fast-paced multiplayer action. The world of Regnus is unlike anything you've ever seen. Solo or with friends, get ready to bring the adventure to life in Blue Protocol. Pretty impressive, I guess. Right, okay, so if I just pop over into this one for a second, kapoom, I'm out of there. Now, this footage here is one that I was mentioning earlier by Gemistu. Okay, so if I make this nice and large on the screen, now all this first part is the different classes, which I'm going to play in a moment. But for now, I'm just going to make this nice and big, and we're just going to look at the actual landscapes, Hello, the everyone. world that this takes here, place in. Okay, so let's hit play. Video. In this video, I'll be looking at the five Ooh, I've got something playing in the background. What's going on there? Can nah. you be quiet, you? <laughs> 
fudging auto play and shite. Okay, here we go. Let's hit play. And look at these welds. Just that little creature just sort of wandering around there. I'm loving all the tree movement as well. The depth of field looks good. I'm not seeing any popping overly. I mean, there's, there's a few bits of shadow changes as you get a bit closer to stuff. But look how smooth this looks and how beautiful it looks. It looks like a painting brought to freaking life. It's got Genshin Impact vibes to it, obviously because it's an anime MMO, but you get to create your own character. And look at the variants in the different mounts that people are riding on as well. So not only do you get to customize your character, I'm hoping you get to customize your actual mount and your ride. Well, it looks like mainly colors, but um, there we are. It does look freaking awesome. Even the textures on the floors is great. I know that's a weird thing, but something that put me off on World of Warcraft was just how big the paving slabs were. It's like, who lifts them? Yeah, but everything is in keeping here. It all looks perfectly done. I'm liking the bump mapping. I'm liking the cell shading. I'm liking the lighting effects. I'm liking the visual elements. I'm liking the depth of field, the massive open swathes of landscape with points of interest that seem to be varied and dotted about. I like the heat wave effect in the background there as they're running along there. I like the little smoke from the chimneys, the fact that it's got freaking waterfalls hanging in the background. It just looks a living, breathing, organic place that I want to go out and explore. You know, and, and when you throw in monsters and everything else to boot in here and some of those monsters look very diverse in the way that they look I mean one minute you're up against big gnarly beast with claws and fangs then the next minute you're up against mechs and all sorts of robotic -y type stuff I'm liking the meld I'm liking the meld of sci-fi and technology and science it's it looks like it's done brilliantly and I can't wait to jump on in and experience the world and the realms of Blue Protocol because it looks like the biomes are quite varied, doesn't it? it does look pretty darn interesting. Look at that! Oh, what an awesome little farming land that is. Little windmill in the background there. But then it's got a subtle hint of new technology in the middle of the actual area too. So mixing the old and the new and the modern and the, the retro or whatever you want to call it, it, it just looks freaking great. I can't wait. I, can't, I honestly can't wait for this title. This, this title couldn't come soon enough for me. And the only thing is, I believe it's going to have a Japanese release first, and then it's going to come over to the Western shores probably later 2023. But if I hear any different, if I hear any news, I'll be sure to be bringing it to my channel and sharing it with you guys in the viewerverse as and when I get it, or if I come across some more footage or anything that I wish to share, I'll definitely be putting it here. So if you want more blue, blue protocol news and to see gameplay as soon as I can possibly get my hands on this, yes, I'll stay locked in. Hit that subscribe, like, and all that sort of shenanigans but yes i am very much eager to play this one this one looks freaking gnarly anyway let's go and have a look at some of the classes at the start of this video shall we people there we go this is the heaviest class and it's like a giant freaking boulder on a freaking stick but it looks like it's got some sort of maybe some sort of i don't know shooting mechanics i don't know but it sort of charges up and boom but it does look like it delivers a heck of a punch to it pretty darn nice i think it actually fires the ball off and then the ball comes back so it has got a bit of range as well as being a heavy attack weapon i like it it's pretty darn cool okay well um yeah i'm still not a hundred percent set on the class that i want to be but then this one looks like a dual wielding crazy maniac mode and it looks like you can deliver blows and damage down on your opponents just keep raining those attacks and combos Yes, if you like combo masters, not close and personal, this is probably the best one for you. Yeah, I do like the look of that heavy ball weapon earlier. Since it's got a bit of range to it as well. You see, I like to keep a bit of range inside of a battle. Now, normally I go as being like a, an archer because usually you have like status effects that you can apply to bows and things, and you have to be a bit more tactful. And also, it's almost like a support character at the same time. I'm not too into getting up close and personal with stuff, but yeah, this is more me, I think, the actual bow class and being an archer. Because I really like that, and the fact that, you know, if you do get hit, you're going to get hurt. So you have to dodge, so there's a lot of dodging. You're a bit of a glass cannon, but at the same time, you can really turn the tides of a battle and aid your friends with sort of like, you know, ranged attacks that have sort of like status effects like that. I mean, that looks freaking excellent. 
But yeah, I think I've just sold myself back to being an archer. But then again, that is my uh, desired class. I mean, whenever I play Monster Hunter World, I'm usually an archer. Heck yes, I am. That's it. When I played Elden Ring, I played as being a bit of a mage. And this is mage class looks very interesting too. And again, it's ranged and you're, you're applying status effects. So it's very similar to the archer in a roundabout way. And it looks like the magic is quite impressive. I'm liking all the lighting effects. So again, do I go for an archer? Do I go for a mage? Do I go for one of those heavy ball type jabbies? The only one that I'm not sold on is the up close and personal melee attack one. But then that said, when I've been playing Dragon, Dragon's Dogma, I quite like the Sword and Shield class. So it's, it's a little... I mean, there we go. There's Sword and Shield right now. You can see that in action, and that does look like awesome fun. Yeah, I'm not really into the button bashing and combo master stuff. I do like being able to dodge, block, or, or something other than just attack. So, yeah, it's a strange one, isn't it? But I, I, from what I hear, you can change your classes on the fly. So if you are a little bit bored of being an archer, you can just swap out to being a different class. Or at least that's what I've heard. I don't know whether that's a thing or not. But at the same time, this does look freaking awesome. And yes, back to the archer here right now and seeing the archer in action. That does seem to have all the mechanics that I rather enjoy. The dodging, the attacking, the thinking of your, um, your crew that's with you and things. However, that's it. I would like to try and do as much of this game solo as possible and maybe play with a few other friends that have picked this up that are inside of the community that I already dwell in, you know? But we, we shall see. We shall see how popular this game becomes. I mean, it is free to play, apparently, also. And the only sort of um, monies that you might be spending inside of this game is microtransactions for cosmetics. There's no play to win. It's cooperative play. There's no PvP. So it does feel like a game that would be great to play with friends and to just you know enjoy the adventure and exploration i mean let's just jump back to the world i mean look at this look at that you're gonna want to be freaking exploring this surely i know i am it looks freaking great what's that thing under the tree there with the big ears that's a strange oh hello pokemon get in a pokeball yeah that's a bit odd but yeah i don't know i think that must be a friendly thing who friggin knows what that is but there we go people in the view of us <laughs> That's kind of what I'm looking forward to playing, and that looks very Pokemon-esque. Okay, all right, quickly, let's um, let's just pop back over to myself. There we go, people. There's a bit of an in-depth look at the Blue Protocol, and um, yeah, I'm very eager to learn more about Blue Protocol. And as I do, I'm going to be bringing it to my channel. Oh, it's just come up with a little bit of the ca character customization. Let me see if I can bring that back up on the screen for you for a second, people. Yeah, here we go. That does look pretty darn gnarly, doesn't it? And this is the character customization. Liking it. I was just about to end off with this popped up. That was pretty darn cool. I wonder if I could make my character look like Goku. That would be pretty awesome. I do like Tien, though, as well. You know, the bald monk from um, Dragon Ball. He was an awesome looking character. I like it. Very snazzy. Very snazzy indeed. Quite a fair few haircuts. I'm not seeing a Goku one amongst those, but maybe it might be an unlockable cosmetic. I mean, this is made by Namco Bandai, and they have done quite a fair few Dragon Ball games. Who knows? They might bring it into some sort of DLC or some sort of cosmetic enhancement. But I'm liking the fact that you can have sort of gradient shaded hair. That's pretty darn freaking epic, isn't it? Very nice. I'm going to be playing around in that for some time before I've actually made my character and made an appearance inside of the world. Heck yes. Pretty darn awesome. Love it. Anyhow, I'm hoping that they bring some sort of early access of beta play or something to PlayStation 5. If they do, I'm going to try and get myself upon it as quickly as I possibly can. Oh, look at that. You can even have like dual eye colors. <laughs> That's pretty darn sweet. Okay, people, well, as you can see, the um, character customization, at least when it comes to the face, seems to be fairly varied. Heck, yes, it does. But there we go, people. I'm very much looking forward to Blue Protocol. And yeah, hopefully hopefully that's whetted your at appetite for said game as well, people in the view of us. There we are. I'm going to end off now. Take care. Cheery bye. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.